In the event that we wipe out the lines the most hypnotizing star I acknowledge is the star that could be astonishing in our sky. It is this one Betelgeuse or Scarab Crush. It's a red supergiant star and on the remote chance that you put it where the sun is it would extend to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous, entirely flighty and going to detonate. It's not as clear as it seems in the universe. These giant events like the most absurdly dreaded enormous starbursts could shake everything we see. Moreover, try not to see its center. In any case, Betelgeuse has been viewed as a sign a red supergiant star that is ordinarily more significant than our sun. Brian Cox and other space experts figure it could go supernova which has made people alarmed about what will happen next. The James Webb Space Telescope is taking stunning photos of the star raising the question of when Betelgeuse will become a supernova and how titanic an impact it will have on Earth. Let's figure out the star in the grand body Orion that shines so brightly that even people from a long while ago noticed it. The wonderful star Betelgeuse is located on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. It is the second largest star in the constellation and its name comes from this element, the beast's shoulder. It is possibly one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. On top of being remarkably brilliant the star is also an odd shade of red which as we will see suggests trouble. We've had some tremendous experience with Betelgeuse for a long time. A Greek examiner named TMY also focused on it around that time. The primary thing individuals recognized about stars was their variety and TMY said that it was a to alarm minimal creature juice orange in color. Researchers have been concentrating on the star much more intently lately and now they have a brilliant idea of what makes it so curiously bright. One of these characteristics is that the star changes brilliance a lot. With an evident size of 0.6 Betelgeuse is a variable star which means that its brightness changes over time. Recently specialists have discovered some new data about the star. In 2019 investigators initially saw that Betelgeuse was acting peculiarly. Despite the fact that Betelgeuse didn't thoroughly stop sparkling it wasn't the same, it had become substantially less bright shining at a degree of around 1.6. Experts rapidly began to investigate why they were seeing the tenth most brilliant star above in this whimsical way. Investigators needed to offer an astonishing explanation based on their research which revealed bizarre signs from the star. According to their discoveries, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any second. Brian Cox, an eminent researcher, shared this remarkably perilous explanation. As a prominent professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Cosmology, you shouldn't take his perspective as a joke. He also has a science show writes popular science books and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science. Brian Cox says that Betelgeuse seems to be a ticking delayed bomb since it could go off without advance notice. To deteriorate the situation, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown an epic amount of proof to back up this explanation. In any case, what unconventional signs has Betelgeuse given that have caused so much trouble in space science? With the new data about Betelgeuse, the star has been named a supernova candidate, although researchers are still uncertain when it will detonate. The fact that terrifying Betelgeuse is almost twice the mass of the sun is one explanation for this categorization. A star, as they say, should be several times the mass of the sun to be known as a supernova. Things get really interesting, however, because examiners have utilized various tools to investigate Betelgeuse. For instance, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory have been used to see what's going on in space around Betelgeuse. What they found is still a mystery. It was born on August 31st, a really long time ago. Around that time, the star Betelgeuse obviously offered strange hints that made its future unclear. What did they find? Well, they could get curious light waves coming from the star or over Betelgeuse, which is extremely curious. However, it wasn't the only thing specialists saw from the star. This takes us back to the possibility that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness changes from time to time. It was said that terrifying Betelgeuse darkened down at regular intervals and had dark spots similar to our sun today. However, the conditions are different. It changes from bright to dim two times as quickly as it used to which is another surprising sign that Betelgeuse is back. Researchers tracked that the star's dimming cycle had hit a band of splendor of plus 1.61 in February 2021. This was not long after the enormous darkening event. Review how the star appeared to dim in a strange way in 2019. That's because it's usually known as the Great Dimming. We could see that the Great Dimming was the beginning of Betelgeuse's abnormal behavior, which made many people worry that Betelgeuse was going to detonate. 
The range of dimming was 1.2 between 2019 and 2020, and the most reduced level of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So specialists were sure that dreadful Betelgeuse would go supernova in the next 100,000 years because of the outstanding dimming. There is a segment happening in the universe, so this is really startling. Researchers rapidly adjusted their viewpoints, however, when they saw what occurred next. Betelgeuse got brighter again after the unimaginable darkening, and it changed into something considerably more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% more brilliant than normal, making it the seventh brightest star above. Researchers were terrified when they saw a red glow in the southern part of the sky. Today, it still gets more interesting because this has led to various considerations about what caused the great dimming. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red glow of Betelgeuse. The red glow of Betelgeuse means that it's a red supergiant star, which is the last stage of a star's life and death. The red glow, on the other hand, is caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the outer layer of the Sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than our Sun, it radiates less energy per unit of surface area despite the fact that it is more significant and will eventually detonate. Now, we ought to examine what the extraordinary darkening looked like. Brian Cox asks, Does it really mean that Betelgeuse will go supernova? In reality, the fact that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant already illustrates that it is nearly finished with its life as a star. A star that is dying will also frequently faint over time, which is something that researchers have picked up on. However, Betelgeuse's new astonishing behavior has made specialists much more focused. Moreover, many telescopes are now focusing on the extraordinary darkening. Still things get even more intriguing. Since specialists don't have a profound understanding of Betelgeuse researchers are now using the most cutting-edge devices to watch out for the captivating things occurring around it. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best tools researchers have used so far. Since 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped researchers gain a lot of valuable information about Betelgeuse. The new photos of Betelgeuse's remarkable darkening taken by this telescope have shown that the event caused a huge mass ejection. Based on new analysis, we now know that this mass launch was around 400 billion times greater than a typical coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also look at things that our eyes can't see like light waves and frequencies. Subsequently, researchers are excited about what the telescope will find. Researchers have seen dust clouds forming on the star's surface that seem to resemble leaves in space. That doesn't seem to make sense, but in spite of the fact that Betelgeuse will die, researchers are still looking out for it since they don't know when it will go supernova. Researchers believe that Betelgeuse is ordinarily more significant than the Sun and that the brilliant red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, if we check the many peculiar things happening with the star, it's difficult to say if this statement will still be true after the extraordinary dimming. So specialists don't think Betelgeuse will detonate any time soon. If Betelgeuse explodes, it will be the first supernova we witness for ourselves since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Specialists also don't believe this should happen soon because they are still paying attention to the star's unusual behavior. Notwithstanding the fact that Betelgeuse will go supernova scientists remain uncertain when precisely it will occur. If we separate the universe without bias, quite possibly one of the most captivating stars and perhaps the most astonishing in our sky is Betelgeuse. Frequently referred to as Betelgeuse, this red monster star, if placed where the sun is, would extend to Jupiter's orbit. This incredibly huge unsteady star is on the edge of an impact. The universe doesn't work in such direct terms. Bizarre cosmic events like supernovae have the potential to completely disrupt our viewpoint a thought that may likely happen. However, while the possibility of Betelgeuse going supernova looms, scientists are still working to understand the exact timeline of its demise. As researchers continue to gather data from the most advanced space telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, they remain cautious about predicting an imminent explosion. Despite the star's unusual behavior, including the mysterious dimming and brightening cycles, there's no certainty about when Betelgeuse will finally reach the end of its life. Some speculate that it could still take tens of thousands of years before the star detonates, but others believe that it may happen much sooner possibly within the next few years or even months. The unprecedented data gathered by these powerful telescopes, along with the star's erratic behavior, has kept scientists on edge. 
they are carefully monitoring the situation using every tool at their disposal to detect any subtle changes that might indicate a supernova is on the horizon.